Great. Sure. <laughs> right. You been well? All good. All good. How you been? Good, good. Thank you. You been super busy <laughs> for sure. Oh my goodness. Yeah, kind of, kind of. This uh, last show was a little yeah hectic. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. Because there was sunshine and you know everybody involved. So. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Great. So we good to go then. Yeah. Let's do Great. it. <laughs> Rakshita, thank you so much for joining the podcast. It's uh, it's absolutely Pleasure. amazing to have you because uh, you know this I Love Air our community. You have a huge fan following there, and uh, oh. <laughs> I've since the time I put your. Um, you know the the poster saying you're coming on the podcast i've been receiving a lot of messages from your fans who are part of the community and sending me requests and stuff for a number of songs <laughs> and they they absolutely adore you and then a uh, number of yeah. fans message me saying uh we don't have any request but we just want to say that uh we love her a lot so just oh, passing it on <laughs> to you on behalf of them <laughs> That's really sweet. That's really nice, and I'm so glad to be here. Finally. Yeah, <laughs> it was so meant long, to happen. You know? <laughs> I wouldn't have yeah. let you go otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm like really glad. Yeah. Thank you so much. And then, uh, look, uh, uh, how should I say it? Uh, women in the moment right now, of course, uh, you must be, you must be so bombarded with heaps and heaps of DMs and whatnot. after the mimi <laughs> release and uh, yeah absolutely yeah i mean uh, yeah, it's, so, been, uh, it's yeah. been overwhelming absolutely yeah. uh, i mean uh, i really didn't expect this song to be my debut for sir uh, oh. yani yani mm-hmm. it was yeah it was quite a surprise <laughs> because i had recorded few other other tracks for sir oh, same and album. Uh, no yeah for the for this album i had recorded uh, some other scratches I recorded uh, Param Sundari scratch mm-hmm. and uh, Hututu scratch and uh, Full Radius. Almost like Mimi has been really special because uh, it's uh, the first Bollywood movie, of course, and of course it's with Sir. Uh, and uh, I, in fact, recorded so many tracks that weren't in the movie. Also, like oh yeah, uh, yeah, like the tunes that were not in the movie. uh i recorded them also so it's been really really special and i really thought yani yani was also going to be like one of those scratches you know but then okay. uh, it came out in my voice and that was really surprising yeah it's a cool track it uh, it, it went very well especially with the visuals uh, yeah yeah <laughs> yeah yeah i've been receiving that a lot you know like the the song yeah. really suits well and you know it's the most important part of the movie you know yeah yeah really nice yeah look I, i'm going to deep dive into that song but not now but mm-hmm. we'll go a bit later uh yeah, we'll, sure. we'll take a few steps back um mm-hmm. you you're extremely talented uh you have a huge fan a fan following like it's it's like crazy and uh, <laughs> so but i wanted to know your journey towards heading there like for example right, i want i would love to know your childhood what it's been like uh because uh, there's obviously a lot of hard work and the journey that's gone into where you are right now and where you're going to be for the years to come so we'd love to know Absolutely. a little bit about your childhood uh where has the music influence been and has music been part of your upbringing and things like that absolutely like uh, but uh, nobody in my family is a professional singer or musician oh. or whatever but they are all extreme uh, music lovers yeah and um, uh, i started singing in uh, like my musical career as such began through reality shows and my first reality show was probably when i was in the second or third grade and uh, that was in fact hosted that was a kannada show and that was hosted by spb sir right and that's how it all began and back then i really didn't you know i was a kid you know and i was yeah. uh, people in my family asked me to uh, you know try for the for mm. the show the, the mm. reality show and i just did i really didn't think much seriously but then um, uh yeah all like my mother learned uh, to play flute and violin oh, wow. uh, and all but she never like pursued it 
yeah but uh, yeah all all like my entire family is a huge music fan yeah and um, i think that's uh, that's been a huge support you know yeah no matter how much you grow in life if you don't have the support of your family mm. you are absolutely nothing so i've been yeah. blessed with that touch wood <laughs> so yeah, yeah. that's how it's been <laughs> amazing and obviously your parents noticed your passion towards music right yeah 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 because um, i've heard stories from uh, my parents that i did not used to eat my food if there was not uh, like chaya chaya being played <laughs> in the background or whatever you know my cousins used to dance for for that song yeah. and only then i would uh, take my food i was really stubborn when yeah. i was a toddler when i was like 2 years yeah. old or something i've heard so many stories like this so uh, yeah <laughs> so wow. the it's it's been there you know that uh, yeah. that uh, there's some connection especially with sir's music hmm. since my childhood <laughs> amazing yeah do you remember the first ever track you must have heard of sir's yeah uh i think the one i remember is definitely chaya chaya okay uh but i'm pretty sure i must have heard a lot of other tracks even yeah. before that yeah yeah um uh, yeah <laughs> so nice. i think that is yeah chaya chaya will be the first nice uh, song i'm and uh, <laughs> so you started learning carnatic music right from your childhood right yes i have learned uh, carnatic music and hindustani music uh, right. but not full fledged yeah. uh, i have uh, been blessed with so many gurus in my life Mm. and also light music uh, i so i'm from mysore mm. uh, right i'm from mysore and uh, in karnataka there is this thing called bhavad gite gal which means mm. uh, sugam sangeet light music oh really yeah. <laughs> oh that talk to me in kannada kind of itself huh ha ah, that's that's great hengira <laughs> that's really nice oh <laughs> that, that <laughs> this is nice i really don't know that yeah yeah i'm karnataka. from bangalore <laughs> and uh, oh, okay uh, I, i i love speaking in kannada but i don't get a chance because the only time i get to speak in kannada is when i travel back to bangalore and with the auto drivers yeah. and the ola drivers <laughs> <laughs> yeah tell me about it and yeah oh well, that's nice yeah. <laughs> i should have started with kannada <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah Nice. Sorry, I yeah. interrupted. I couldn't resist telling you. That's all. <laughs> of course, yeah, I know that feeling. You know, it's even like even in Chennai when I when I hear somebody speaking in Kannada, I'm like, yay! Thank you, Dara. I'm not a Kannada. So you must so, be talking yeah. in Kannada with uh, Nakul and all in Sir's team. Of course, of course, absolutely, always. I only so, speak in Kannada with him. Too. Yeah, even even Murthy Sir uh, for for the show that we did recently. Mm-hmm. Uh, Murthy sir, I and Nakul uh, fully, we were fully com- Murthy from completely talking about Bangalore. Murthy sir is from uh, Karnataka, na? He's he's from Bangalore, yeah. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah. Okay. So yeah. we were talking in Canada. That's a huge like that's a different kind of you know joy yeah. to yeah. find somebody who's yeah. yeah. So, in fact, whenever Nakul calls me, the first thing is "En Guru, En Samachara." <laughs> <laughs> I know, yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, as I was saying, um so you might Bhava have Gita. heard about Bhava Gita Galu at Sukam Sangeetha. So that has been my um like root and uh, my guru uh, Dr. Sunita Chandra Kumar, she mm-hmm. has been like I've been learning from um uh, yeah her since my childhood. Yeah. So that's been a huge influence in in my singing and her teaching and her uh, yeah. Like the way and she also composes Yeah. So uh, she has been a huge influence nice. uh, on my sing- like in my singing. So that's that's my you know learning. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. And uh, of course look uh, uh with with the playback singing and all the other stuff that you have done or you're doing right now how much mm-hmm. do you think the Carnatic music has had an influence on it? Just your thoughts on it. It uh, it surely has, you know, uh like if i go and record a song mm. i like i figure out that tune by notes by swaras right? right so that that is that like it's the basic i feel whatever like uh whatever song we sing yeah saregama padanisa is the basic yeah right yeah. so yeah. 
um yeah i think that is it, it's the foundation so it definitely mm. has a huge influence right uh, i feel i feel so mm. yeah. yeah for sure i'm sure uh and uh, you later started learning hindustani right yeah that too for a very brief period of time uh, mm. from ustad fayaz khan sir and mm. uh, he had to move to bangalore later so i couldn't right. uh, continue with him but uh, whatever little time like i probably went for 6 months yeah and i it was heavenly his classes were heavenly i, I learned too much from him <laughs> and <laughs> yeah i wish i wish i could travel back and forth from chennai to bangalore you know to from mm. to learn from him and mm. uh, yeah but then lockdown happened so <laughs> couldn't yeah, do much sure. yeah so <laughs> what's your day in your life like right now right now uh, or, right uh, now, assuming uh, things were normal it doesn't have to be covid related or pandemic related but in general yeah but it really depends you know yeah. some days i am doing absolutely nothing which like is good. in my in my bed yeah all day or watching some probably some series yeah and uh, some days i have i want to go out and hang out with friends mm. and not want to come back home at all <laughs> and some days it's fully work you know you don't get sleep yeah. you don't get to eat on time yeah. you just are recording or shooting or whatever you're fully into it and it's completely productive so it really depends you know life of a musician it's never you know it's never the same yeah. you know one day is not uh, the same as the other and uh, you yourself don't know what what will the next day bring to you right that is kind of exciting yeah. so yeah <laughs> no i'm just curious it's like as you say right uh, it's a bit unpredictable with the life mm-hmm. of a person. that's why i've been curious because um with the drop of a hat you'll get a call saying sir is calling you for a recording or things yeah. like that and let's say yeah. you you were in one of those moments or days where you're just laying on your bed and you don't want to go anywhere and then you get a call how do you uh, how do you um, f- focus into what needs to be done and then get out of that zone and what happens then actually <laughs> uh, i'll tell you what if i lay, if i'm laying on my bed and just completely chilling and then i get a call that is still fine i'll completely get into that zone and you know i start yeah. prepping and probably start warming up yeah. or you know i drink tea a lot so yeah. i love drinking tea before a recording yeah. and do all this but the problem is when i'm not in town and sir calls which has happened a lot <laughs> like it's like the the thing with panchatan you know like it's happened yeah. to so many of us i am in chennai usually the case right that's so, what usually yeah, happens i exactly. remember even shrikant told me about it when he was traveling yeah. somewhere and he got a call and then yeah yeah that's how i got my first call too from sir studio yeah. and so many of us and when i'm in chennai for days and months and doing nothing literally mm-hmm. uh, i don't i won't get a call <laughs> but the minute i step out of chennai for even a day that particular day i get a call from sir studio saying you know what the name anga epo anga i'm like why why it's happened so many times it's like i'm not even surprised anymore if i'm out of town town and i get a call from sir you know the very first time uh, was in 2019 Uh-huh. we got a call uh, in fact me shrikant all of us got a call for sir's concert mm. uh, to sing backing okay so that was the very first time i got a call from sir's team yeah right and i was absolutely excited but i was in mysore right so i was i lost it i i started crying my mother was like okay calm down we'll figure something out and we'll go to you know bangalore take a flight Yeah. and just be there in chennai the next day and we did that yeah. uh, we took the first flight and we came back and uh, then it happened but yeah all the time this has been and the very first track i recorded i remember i was in coimbatore huh. for a show and the show is get about to get like uh, it's getting over and i get a call from kartikana saying you know sir wants to record you uh, come come and from 12 12 am or 1 am i landed in chennai and from the airport i directly i was like i directly come to the studio no problem you know i'll just come and you know it's crazy it happens so many times 
right that is when it's yeah now i was going to say what did you record when you actually went to that the- was for uh, some tamil track i don't mm. i don't know the mm. you know details of it yeah. but it's it was a tamil track and it right. was back in uh, january 2020 january or february 2020 right oh yeah. right okay. <laughs> Nice. That was the first thing sir recorded me. Huh? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> what was it like? Were you nervous? Not at all. Like, huh. see, I've always imagined, like all my life, almost yeah. I've always imagined that moment when I go to sir studio and I start recording. Yeah. It has. I've always pictured it to be extremely like I'll be very nervous and mm. you know I won't know what to do and whatever little music I know I'll forget because. Of you know all that because he's like he, he's rahman sir yeah but once i went there he made sure to you know like make me feel comfortable he started ask me like where are you from what do you do and you know how are the concerts going i was like sir you know i oh, <laughs> wow and and uh, he made me like he made sure uh, that i'm comfortable and then only i went to the voice booth and it was extremely i think uh i'm the most comfortable when sir, sir records me now in mm. in panchatan oh. so it's been been like that of course yeah. i have so many favorites who record yeah. me like i i love when heerel records me i love when nakulana records me yeah. so many of them but when sir records anybody for that matter it's it's a different uh you know feeling all together like why, why is it so I'm, what makes it different I don't know the just the way he brings out the best in anybody right, right? right. you yourself wouldn't know that uh, you're capable of of that right you know for probably some phrase or some uh, harkat or some uh, you know some note you yeah. you would have probably thought like there there would have been a mental block that you know you can't do that yeah. you can't reach that as singers you know yeah but he will push you to an extent where you 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 know you just have to bring out the mm. best he just brings out the best in everybody and i feel i'm in my best you know uh, like all my potential mm. will come out when i'm in panchatan especially when sir record as that place has something you know it's, mm. it is so divine yeah it's a different <laughs> experience all together when i'm in panchatan i really don't want to come back home <laughs> it's like that <laughs> even if i finish recording i'll be like okay can i like, like hang out a little more and can i sing something else you know anything is like that but and all the people there are so amazing i can't tell you their family you know <laughs> indeed yeah and have you yeah. gone and sat on that unjal uh, swing of course of course <laughs> <laughs> of course i have even slept there because <laughs> you know because it usually it's yeah, you know how it is it's around 4 5 yeah 5 yeah. am 6 yeah. am so <laughs> yeah. so i'm i'll be sleeping and sir be like okay rashta come on let's record <laughs> he be like that so <laughs> yeah, i i still remember when i had been there and i was so fascinated with that swing and i saw i was sitting there and i, I immediately <laughs> i just closed my eyes and probably i had my headphones on or something and and i probably had a power nap like that i think and then uh-huh. when i open my eyes so sir, sir's just walking past and he had a look at me and he smiled <laughs> oh yeah yeah and like yeah. i'm standing like in an attention position the moment I... yeah right i mean that happened once with uh, mani sir like with me huh mani sir was just going and i was sleeping and mani sir was just passing by <laughs> <laughs> and he asked me did you have dinner i'm like yes sir yeah wow. <laughs> it it's crazy that place yeah yeah <laughs> insane yeah and so the thing is i mean i'm uh, there is obviously aura there right uh, in panchatan there's it's something that i have never been able to describe because i've been only once to the studio and then i've loved it so much and the memory is so clear um you it's like your second home now for you uh how many times have you been do you have a count uh actually uh um, you know i'll tell you what this whole uh thing with sir uh started in lockdown for me like in okay. in january 2020 and yeah. then march 2020 was the lockdown correct and then i i stay uh, nearby to sir studio so hmm. 
all the scratches uh, especially for mimi as i mm. told you earlier so uh, since i was available and i was nearby mm. i went to the studio a lot to record mm. so many scratches mm. and uh, yeah so that is why i i think <laughs> i'd say two very times yeah yeah okay so i mean where i was trying to get into was get to was uh, just try and describe panchatan for all the fans who have been dreaming yeah. to go there one day for a visit what is it like uh, when you enter the studio and what do you see and uh, also probably even the sir is very particular about color coordination and stuff like that i'm sure you know yeah. that too yeah. so if you can share a bit of uh, the magic that happens in panchadin that will be awesome <laughs> in your words whatever you experience See, i <laughs> actually um one word if i have to describe it is it really feels like home right, right? panchatan really feels like home because of the place uh, because of the vibe that you get the entire vibe and because of the people there Correct. you know Correct. uh so and uh, all these uh, little like the the bench there right. and you know the the you know the thing that's behind you the arr yeah yeah with yeah with the blue thing that that's been added yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that's also there and I took a picture of this and sent it to sir and told him sir mini panchatan here <laughs> <laughs> yeah laughed and uh, uh, and the cafe you know because we drink like the the canteen, the canteen. we drink so much tea especially me i drink so much tea and that i have to because you know it usually the recordings usually happen in the night and i have is to is it green tea or it. normal tea no i drink normal tea yeah, i love yeah. milk tea yeah, yeah i'm a simple yeah. person yeah. i don't like green tea <laughs> simple person i don't like i can't yeah <laughs> so that and uh, of course that uh, key the 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 angel that's there oh, inside yeah. yeah that and the piano room and uh, of course a voice booth and there's this you know the, the whole console thing here mm. Mm. and you go upstairs and there's that unjal and the waiting space <laughs> and you go to the you know that uh, the the large mm. recording mm. space and then mm. the other thing i'm just revisiting <laughs> panchatan now thank you for asking me this because it's been a while since i've been there uh yeah the it's the i told you right if i if i'm in panchatan i i would not want to go back home <laughs> it's yeah. like that Yeah. it's a different uh, feeling altogether yeah indeed, indeed. <laughs> i love it <laughs> and uh during the recording sessions that you have had with sir um has there been a sharda moment for you Sh- what moment <laughs> sharda what is sharda okay this is, this is something so when sujata ji came sujata mohan ji came on the podcast and then tipu and harini came on the podcast and so many others the the general thing is especially when the shruti goes in tangent direction so uh-huh. obviously has his own way of saying hey sharda and then to oh, bring no. back the your own track <laughs> it's like a nice oh, way man. of killing <laughs> oh no no i haven't had the okay word. simply sharda means it hasn't me. happened to you <laughs> No, no, it hasn't. It hasn't. The Sharda hasn't happened yet. Right, right. Of course. Yeah. And uh, look, uh, also, yeah. Prior to this, you had interactions with Sir as part of the Vijay uh, Super Singer show, yeah. right? Super Singer. Yes, yes. Right. I, in fact, he was the face of our season. You know, right. he was a uh, like whoever gets to win the the yeah. season gets to sing for him. That right. was the prize. in first place right yeah. right and you were in the same uh time as shrikant as well is that what it is yes he was in my yeah correct <laughs> right shrikant right. uh yeah correct we yeah. were he was also in the finals right yeah and <laughs> you had interactions with sir as part of the show yes he had uh, come to uh, so the first episode of that season was yeah. january 13th 2018 yeah. Yeah. And uh, the previous day, January twelfth, twenty eighteen, was the show, the the Chennai show okay. concert, and I was a part of the audience. Uh, 
oh. in that show and i screamed like anything especially when he was singing we re and all i i forgot that the next day he is going to be there i had to i have to perform in front wow. of him i completely forgot and i became this, this you know insane crazy fan girl that i have and started yeah. screaming and the next day i had to sing uh, i think shakala ka baby <laughs> in front of him <laughs> <laughs> that is a launch of that season and then he came a couple of uh, times like he came for the top 10 celebrations yeah. once and then he came for the set finals yeah. he uh, was supposed to come for the finale but he was in yeah. the us so right. we connected by a video call <laughs> nice nice yeah. amazing <laughs> and uh, uh, so the thing is i I've, i've seen some of your videos uh, your covers are amazing i really like the nila kai girad uh, for sure <laughs> and also the the medley that you did with nikhil that that was amazing yeah. really good <laughs> that that was like surprisingly that reached a lot of people we didn't expect it to be that huge yeah. but yeah. yeah we were really happy <laughs> it was really good i absolutely loved it uh, look, thank you uh, um how should i put it i loved it so much that i watched it a few times and uh, kuchi kuchi rakma was also amazing <laughs> you take two lines of any song that you like maybe one of the covers <laughs> of that yeah yeah sure kuchi kuchi rakma varamata nee konje pesa konde un taramata sadhe saro sungale samakoy kovale kuchi kuchi rakma ikkada sale rakma ikkuchi kuchi rakma varamata ikkonje pesa konde un taramata sadhe salo sungale samakoy kovale kuchi kuchi rakma wow amazing <laughs> i, I want to ask you you obviously kept your eyes open and you're smiling when you're singing how do you do it uh the number of I guests who have come uh, uh i've seen them close their eyes when they sing and stuff like that and uh, to be honest i also close my eyes if like if i'm singing a song like malar gale or you know yeah. uh something that you know is very soulful and i just yeah. dive deep into it i automatically shut my eyes it happens with yeah. with some songs but with yeah. some songs i just i just have to interact with mm. uh, the audience and yeah it's not planned but it just happens with the song is it something that you have learned as part of the journey like in terms of not at all interact and keep smiling and stuff not at all i think you know i believe that you can't uh, learn uh, the, like somebody cannot teach you all these yeah, things yeah. right it just has yeah. like everybody uh, has their own thing when they are on stage mm. and uh, each of it it's it their individual thing it's different mm. so it's what they feel and what they you know are in on stage mm. so yeah i i believe you can't teach these things it just happens like naturally yeah. it just happens <laughs> right right and yeah. so concert is one thing and then secondly the recording side of things like in terms of studio recordings how do you usually mm-hmm. prepare yourself when you have to go for a recording um, especially when you get a call at the drop of a hat and then you have to rush in 2 hours <laughs> how do you how do you prepare yourself and then also how do you isolate from every all the other chaos that would have happened during the day and then get into the right emotions of the song <laughs> uh for me it just happens you know like i uh, i get the call and i'm suddenly in the zone like oh, wow. whatever whatever i'm doing if i get a call from for work i am i am in that zone and i start warming up my mm. voice i i do these vocal exercises mm. and just I, i sometimes and of course i drink tea because you know uh, and if if it's in the morning i take like steam inhalation and gargle with honey and all these oh, things wow. you know all the yeah. singers do this uh, but sometimes if i i'm not at all feeling it i listen to some any song mm. that i completely love like you know you know these songs when you when you listen to it like thousand times you're like fed up of it but you still want to listen to it again those that, that i have that playlist and i listen to any one of those songs and i'm automatically in that mm. uh you know mm. in the in a mm. better mm. place mm. Yeah, mentally so yeah. 
yeah i think that's how i <laughs> nothing else i don't uh, n- like no other preparation as such yeah this is what i do <laughs> and yeah. and as a singer obviously you have to take care of your vocal cords and stuff do you yeah do you, i know t is your best friend no doubt and do you avoid certain foods like ice cream or things like that or uh, you don't doesn't really matter for you no no ice cream i definitely avoid right. uh, because uh, uh, i have wheezing since childhood mm. so i am i like i i take inhalers every day so mm. ice cream is like mm. I, and and i don't even like ice cream much right like if it's like uh, places like ibaco and all yeah. even in, even when i go to ibaco i only l- love the toppings and not the actual right. ice cream <laughs> and uh, yeah and i i can't uh, have chocolate like dark chocolate i can't have oh really which is again yeah which is again not a problem for me because i don't like chocolate flavor much <laughs> i right. don't like dark dark chocolate much so for my body it's that thing i can't have ice cream and uh, chocolate flavored things much because i yeah. i get wheezing you right. know that will affect my throat that's yeah. it <laughs> but i've also heard that in panchatan usually the team has that ice cream uh moments after a recording and things like that and also sir gives <laughs> chocolates as a surprise and things like that oh really these ah. have happened to me at you know until new <laughs> it's i hope sir gives me chocolate if sir gives me chocolate i'll definitely eat <laughs> you know right uh, and uh, yeah. look i want to touch on uh, 99 songs you know where i am getting to uh, yeah but you, you were part of the 99 songs digital concert thing as well right yes yes, yes. yeah <laughs> I, i knew you were part of that so um that concert is super super special to me uh because one I love it 99 songs it's super close to me I absolutely love the soundtrack because I have grown with it since the ni- uh, the Hindi soundtrack released last year right so over a period right. of one year especially during the pandemic and stuff it has helped me uh keep my sanity levels right. um and then also uh it has helped me heal that is the word that I was looking for especially with each of those songs and now the digital concert came up and um i was even more excited even before it came out for the simple fact that right after the shooting and then when sir reached home he gave me a call and he told me about the concert and he said we have just shot 23 songs and and uh, we were talking for about 10 minutes or something ah. it was great and since then i nice. couldn't hold my excitement and then so what i wanted to know is you tell me as being part of the concert over there on the other side what was the experience like uh, shooting 23 songs and hanging out hanging out with the cool <laughs> kids for two two days right two days in a row yeah 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 that was that call was also absolutely unexpected because uh, i knew there was a 99 concert uh, that was about to happen but yeah i didn't know i w- i was going to be a part of it because i haven't uh, i haven't sung any song in 99 songs right mm-hmm. so uh then kartikana suddenly calls me and says you know you have to sing uh, shreya's songs aga mm-hmm. nilangalin and the uh, telugu version akasha taralato so just get prepared you know there is rehearsals tomorrow i was like what <laughs> what i can't because it's shreya ghosha's song and you know how it is it's impossible to you do sound like her that- i have <laughs> like i have heard this a lot but it's I don't know I just I've grown up listening to her yeah, probably yeah. her influence is definitely on me. Yeah. Uh but yeah that's then we suddenly went into the the next day uh, was my mother's birthday and that when nice. that's when we were rehearsing all these songs. Yeah. And uh, of course the shoot oh my god we went like the entire process you know going to YM and you know getting ready for it and the whole the whole excitement of being on stage after so long mm. and and how you know like yeah. <laughs> with rehman sir and uh, we uh, shot from yeah from morning till it went till like early in the morning Oof. uh i think morning or yeah we started singing in the evening mm. but i think the shoot was started mm. around 
12 am because hmm. they were shooting some something with ehan you know correct, correct. related to the correct. the movie uh it was so, super fun because we were all uh, benny sir you know hmm. hari anna and sasha puri yeah. all of us were chilling all, all of us were hanging yeah. out it was fun it was super fun and uh that was the first time i was on stage with sir yeah right it was yeah. <laughs> it was a huge deal like i remembered all the previous things you know when i told you like yeah. i was the part of concert as an audience in yeah. 2018 and in 2019 i sang backing for him in his concert yeah 2020 let's just skip it <laughs> and 2021 i am on stage with sir as as the performer you know it's it i felt really really blessed and the entire journey i just you know it was like a flashback and uh, the day 99 concert got released like mm. uploaded mm. on youtube mm. that is that was on uh, april 14th and that was when i recorded yani yani oh wow <laughs> that was the day i recorded yani yani so it's all you know connected it's so special i can't tell you it's extremely special <laughs> recorded like early yeah. this year yani. yeah yeah like wow. a few months ago yeah wow yeah <laughs> Yeah. So Amazing. the whole thing has been really special. I can't be more. It's like everything coming together all at once, huh? Yeah. True. I'm super grateful. Yeah. I just hope it. Perfect. You know. Yeah. And, <laughs> and uh, so, also, what I wanted to ask you about was um, the rooftop jam. Uh, how could I <laughs> yeah. avoid that? And it was great. <laughs> I, uh, the fans absolutely love it. I love it. and i watched it mm. so many times and I, i still go back and watch it from time to time um mm. i'm sure there must be amazing memories that must be coming to your mind uh, i do have yeah. some specific questions about that but i'll get to it later <laughs> <laughs> oh okay yeah that was also again uh, probably 2 in the morning i get a call huh. from sir i was that that call was actually to record the scratch of hindustani way i was recording oh, a scratch yeah. for hindustani way sir only recorded and kumaran anna was there yeah. and then suddenly nazif anna calls me and says you know there's a shoot you know we are doing like mm. jamming on rooftop the next day so just you know be prepared for all these songs mm. <laughs> and that's it that was the thing and the next day uh, uh, around uh, that day we, we uh, at 10 a.m. like 10 p.m. in the night we went we all went to KM and uh, we're just like figuring out how the jam sir was also there mm. and we were just figuring out how how it's going to be like you yeah. know the whole jamming thing yeah. and the uh, next day morning around 4:30 probably we were all ready and we went up at 5 a.m. and we had to get it right you know because yeah. they yeah. had to get take the like the sunrise shot correct so we were we really uh, practiced a few times and then yeah. we went to like <laughs> like the take happened and yeah. uh, <laughs> it was super fun mm. super fun i can't tell you and all those songs are so nostalgic correct like rangde basanti balle lakka mm. all these things are so like childhood <laughs> related songs so wow. yeah amazing. it's been amazing crazy <laughs> and and surely I I somehow feel I have not asked sir about it, but I'm hundred percent sure it must have been an idea that must have occurred in sir's mind all of a sudden about this rooftop yeah. jam, and he must have made it's it. It's true, uh, probably yeah. And because you know it got released in the time where people had lost hope because of the second wave, right? In India, it was crazy. We all mm-hmm. thought it's going to be like correct. It's gonna to come to an end in probably March in April 2021. Then again, everything mm. started mm. and mm. it went crazy. And people needed something to actually not completely lose hope, mm. right? So mm. I think that was really that that touched a lot of people's mm. uh, lives because they needed some positivity 100%. <laughs> in life, right? Yeah. That is when it came out. I still remember so, the, yeah. on the day it was released. I was going through a lot of stress at work. I work here in IT, mm. and then that that mm. morning it got released. And the number of times I must have played it on YouTube, I'm <laughs> I myself would have contributed hundred views. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Even my mother, she 
like the day it got released every day at 6 6:30 pm yeah. she has to play it once it's it's like a ritual <laughs> every wow. day so wow. yeah <laughs> right yeah, like it really uh, yeah i yeah. also love to watch it <laughs> because it is it's so nice it's, it's well shot and then i spoke to nazif as well after that and he's done a great job so it's yeah, very well absolutely. done absolutely it's very yeah he's amazing <laughs> and my most important thing was uh, after the rooftop jam after the shoot mm. you guys went to murgan idli yes we went i want to know about that one yeah. <laughs> yeah. we were really so hungry came. and uh, no sir did come sir yeah. uh, went back yeah. me nazif uh, benny sir and uh, lavita kumaran all of us went yeah. to murugan idli we were all so tired and so sleepy mm. and so hungry so we <laughs> had to go like uh, and i don't know whose choice murugan idli was <laughs> nirmika wanted to come but uh. then she said uh, you know she had some work and she'll join later some other right. day right uh yeah we went to murugan idli had uh, some of them no i don't drink coffee some of them had uh, filter coffee also yeah. some of the sweet i don't remember and of course the podi idli you know the <laughs> it was podi idli so yeah that was fun nice nice tata was also there yeah she was okay yeah i did hear mm-hmm. that it was a lot of fun and then um <laughs> yeah so hence why i just wanted to ask you about it <laughs> yeah yeah it was <laughs> great So, yeah. and so uh how do your parents feel with the journey that you had so far and then uh with your dream coming true to sing for sir yeah. and i i'm sure that there's many more and heaps of more tracks coming in the future where you'll be getting to sing Hopefully. for yeah. sir and uh uh let, let let these memories keep multiplying uh mm-hmm. but how do your parents feel now that you have recorded a song so, your idea yeah yeah it's been um especially my dad it's been my dad's dream so he passed away around 10 years ago sorry uh, but then yeah but he always wanted me to be a huge star and keep traveling and you know keep singing and everything and he loves uh, he used to love sir's music like mm. especially enna sola pogira was his favorite track like wow. he always used to listen to it and uh, so I, i feel that it's all his blessings or whatever like he's always here and he's always watching me and he's yeah. he, it's because of his blessings that i'm able to me and my mother are able to you know like mm. uh, keep moving forward and uh, without my mother's support and uh, she feels like my backbone right everybody here knows that you know she's always with me and mm. she's uh, literally my strength so i think the amount of sacrifices she is uh, like it's not easy to move from your home to mm. another city mm. where you have literally no you don't even know anybody mm. and uh, we moved from mysore to chennai just because of this and now especially after singing for sir it's all making sense you know she feels that you know we did the right because of our entire family the support system is back in mysore yeah my grandparents my uncle aunt cousins yeah. everybody is back there indeed so it's it's not at all easy it's never mm-hmm. been easy but we always smile through everything we especially me and my mom are like a team you know we always go through everything together and you know mm-hmm. deal with things and uh, uh even after super singer yeah like i moved to chennai after my season got over uh, after yeah. my finale got over yeah. in 2018 so um we i really thought that you know all these you know playback opportunities are going to come to me now yeah. you know i'm i'm going to travel the world which i did yeah. uh, i like stage concert wise i have really uh, performed a lot so uh, like after super singer mm-hmm. like everywhere it's been uh, that has been really a true bl- blessing mm-hmm. but in, when it comes to playback mm-hmm. i wasn't able to get a lot of uh, opportunities uh, mm-hmm. for i don't know uh, for many reasons i i don't know but um 
I even if I seeing something, it wasn't you know a huge deal, or people still didn't recognize me in the industry. Right. Uh, that is when I, of course, I've lost hope. Uh, in the middle, like, it's natural. It's human yeah. to like lose hope when you're really trying and you're really giving it all, and you're still mm-hmm. not getting the opportunities. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, so in January 2020 is when it. you know it all started making sense because i get the call from someone i always dreamed of but i never imagined it will actually happen in life mm. you know in real life mm. so and that too my voice was in such a bad condition i was i couldn't even talk like my i had some terrible throat infection right and that's when i get a call from <laughs> rehman sir you know can you imagine how much stress i was in yeah. but i was like you know this is it you know just don't care about whatever whatever has happened whatever will happen nothing else matters yeah. this just make use of whatever you get in the studio and give your best and wow. sing like you'll not sing you know any more thing <laughs> you'll never sing again and uh, yeah i think making use of the opportunity when you finally get it is really important and i think i just gave it all <laughs> and that's Everything. how it all began and i hope it just continues because For sure it will right now i'm really grateful <laughs> yeah it is it is going to and every success story of yours we should catch up for a podcast <laughs> absolutely absolutely i love that <laughs> um yeah. and so let's talk about april 14th so yani yani the kali and so yeah. tell me tell me everything about it <laughs> Oh, yeah i mean it's, it's i was not an exactly... easy track for for firstly and with the arabic influence and stuff like that yeah 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 so, absolutely not yeah and no, how did I you go about <laughs> i was just excited for april 14th because 99 songs concert was going to release and i can finally screen record from my youtube and put it on my instagram you know i was in that and finally suddenly i get a call uh, from sir sir saying you know come hiral Uh, come we have to record you something mm-hmm. and uh, heeral i have to thank heeral mm-hmm. at this point because at that day she really pushed me saying you know this is not going to be like uh, other just a, another scratch yeah. this can really you know be the song you know mm-hmm. this can really make up your life because you know it, she she gives all these little hints you know i just catch from that and i went into the studio and it just gave i heard uh, it was in arabic actually and i heard that and i was like what what is happening how can i sing yeah. this how can i even attempt to sing it and but i just gave it you know i gave my everything and i went with the flow and then a few days later and the next day was a 99 audio launch the very Correct. next day no audio no. launch or premiere i don't remember yeah premiere right it must have been the premiere premiere premier. premiere yeah it was a premiere so mm-hmm. the next day i saw, i see hero and i was like what did sir say did sir <laughs> do it what happened just tell me tell me and she was like yeah yeah it's good we'll talk about it and then a few days later i get another call saying you know it's nice there are few lyric corrections and everything mm-hmm. and then uh, sir was also uh, like he connected via call mm-hmm. and he asked me to sing in a few you know few different harkats and all mm-hmm. so yeah that's how it happened i was like oh finally because the the day that day when i finished recording and came back home i i remember telling my mom super big excitement that you know this is one crazy track i recorded i really really wish it comes in my voice you know comes mm-hmm. out in my voice i love it and she was like yeah yeah everything was happening <laughs> for good don't worry <laughs> and uh, but it happened you know in course. in real life it happened so yeah very and, grateful <laughs> and also the most difficult part would have been after recording coming home and holding that secret for so many months <laughs> i can't tell you i've been doing that since january 2020 it's not at all easy especially you know i haven't told even to my grand like uh, my family my grandparents yeah. and because they they get too excited and they start telling everybody you know the whole neighbors and everybody without even anything happen you know, any yeah. any song coming out or any releases which is natural you know i yeah so i feel you know let's just wait 
for one song even that picture i have a story with that picture uh, that sir clicked with me that selfie uh, uh, in panchatan correct he uh, so it happened it's about to be a year now september 17th 2020 he did that remember picture. the date yeah I, i have the thing with dates it's like special things i remember with dates mm. so yeah, i i like kartikana always used to make fun of me because i had kept it as draft on instagram you know to post oh. uh, after after my first release so he was like amma pod ma idella pod ma wait for i was like no na edavadhu or or part release agutho and then i'll i'll post it and then after yani i posted and he has even commented on that uh, you know on that post saying finally the draft has been posted <laughs> and like yes sir now finally <laughs> because yeah i have this thing you know <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, amazing that so the track came out and the family is now allowed to talk to their neighbors and everyone else How- absolutely <laughs> <laughs> they went full on my grandmother the whole the whole street you know and all everybody is like you know they're all my uh, cousin and my aunts even my uh, mm-hmm. call it tune <laughs> is my song because it's one different feeling only you know to have my own song that too for sir it's one different feeling all together uh-huh. and <laughs> yeah. then the movie released so you were able to mm-hmm. watch the visuals and then connect with the song how was it how yeah. do you feel that was that was really really beautiful i think you have to pinch I, yourself I, saying the hey, most, actually my voice <laughs> yeah yeah i had to because i again i was in some other show in bangalore when when that day my song was supposed to release on july 26 mm. the mm. the day the movie got released but then they decided to release a few days earlier correct and then after the movie got released the song's video the correct. next day i think the song's video correct. got released so yeah it was i i didn't uh, like i couldn't watch it on the first day because i was busy with the rehearsals yeah. and shows then i went like came back to chennai and watched it and i was like what a movie yeah. <laughs> wow it's so beautiful like mm. the 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 background music and the song just add up yeah to the yeah. entire thing you no know? yeah. it's just it's beautiful yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was surreal to finally like listen to my voice in search music in an actual movie you know for sure yeah for sure and yeah. i'm sure as i said earlier many more to come and uh, no, so with that said yeah. maybe two lines of this song your most favorite song of the album of, of mimi no yeah i'm talking about of- yana yana yes and and yeah, then yeah. and then we'll jump on to your other favorite tracks <laughs> <laughs> okay एक खुशखबरी कानों का फैली है हम मेरी जान जिसके बदौलत झूठा है दिल का सुना मकान आने को है एक मेहमान Chita I don't know how you did it it's a very very complex song <laughs> yeah it is <laughs> thank you thank you so much but Good. thanks to sir you know for believing in me actually when i really be- didn't believe in myself wow. sir believed in me which is a huge deal Th- yeah. all thanks to him <laughs> yeah he has basically tapped into your potential he knew you could do it and yeah. it has opened exactly. up a whole new world for you which probably you were not thinking that yes i could do it right amazing exactly that's exactly <laughs> yeah. what sir will do <laughs> exactly uh, correct <laughs> right yeah. and um, of course look it will be uh, too silly to ask you what are your other favorite tracks but i'm sure all the tracks from mini mini for example will yeah. be your favorite did yeah yeah definitely absolutely did hi they do anything to you 
if rehai day doesn't do anything to anybody i don't know what to <laughs> i don't even know what to say like mm. it's it's the comfort zone the comfort mm. place that i always go to at the end of the day you know when you're tired and you don't want to do anything mm. and you just want to just just fall in that you know that free fall kind of mm. you know feeling mm. that you want that that is that is rehai day that is the, the healing song mm. especially the end and i'm i'm yeah. sure you would have heard a lot about the end of course that that end just does something every time that that's just right. pure magic yeah mm. i still remember when this song was <laughs> released uh first one was param sundari and then second one was this and then i couldn't move forward beyond rehai day i, I was there for mm. three to four days i'm not kidding <laughs> I was seriously stuck. I know. I didn't want I know, to go to the next track, and the <laughs> f- first time ever when I heard towards the ending, it just blew me away. I know. Oh my God, that ending! It's yeah, it's just magic. I don't know what else to describe it as. Yeah. I want to. I I just keep coming back to the ending. You know. Indeed. Of course, the song, but oh. an ending <laughs> have you spoken about yeah. this with katija and uh, heeral especially about the ending part heeral yeah heeral i have a lot of times she is yeah. probably like to a to an extent where she is probably a little annoyed now okay enough i know i get it it's nice probably yeah because i've told her too many times that it's just yeah. out of the world it's just beautiful right. yeah so like it can't be it can't be recreated right yeah, it for sure. you just have to it's like that it's masterpiece you just have to, you shouldn't touch it yeah <laughs> yeah you have to listen indeed. to it and then yeah i wonder about sir's vision right oh yeah vision. and apparently it was added in the last uh, moment right oh, that yeah. that part yeah, yeah. i think he told somebody told me that it was added in the end by sir wow, you know? wow. just incredible <laughs> uh yeah given the number of times you have heard this track do you want to give mm-hmm. it a shot I know it's a tough song. I just told you. I just told you. It shouldn't be. It's like that Kohi Noor, you know, the things that that are kept in the music. Yeah, Do yeah. Do not touch it. Where you where you have the ball. Very rightly it. said. It's that. Very rightly <laughs> said. You should just listen to it and enjoy. And yeah, you shouldn't touch it. I like remember when, uh, of course, this track came out, and we were all we are still glued to this. I am still glued to this track, and. Uh, just as a word of caution i put out an instagram story saying fans i know we are all loving this track but please leave this alone do not post any covers <laughs> your covers oh can be <laughs> oh my god okay <laughs> that's a little okay wow yeah but i, yeah. I get it <laughs> uh but this is so special for me uh yeah it does something to me every time so um what about hututu that's obviously to do also you know yeah i sang a few lines of the track that to in the end yeah uh, there was some lyrics change and that is magical and her voice you know sasha's mm. voice is so beautiful yeah uh, and with the visuals it's just even more beautiful you know when you watch it with the movie mm. uh, and the Uh, Asad Khan's search, yeah. you know, the yeah. that that bit is also beautiful. Yeah, everything is just like one track is not like the other track. You know, that's mm. the beauty of every album of search. Yeah, you just have to like you you listen to everything and you like you you like you know is this done by the same person <laughs> because it it is not it's it's that is what I feel and every time you. like listen to it no matter how old is i'm talking about roja's okay. tra- soundtrack or whatever it still f- feels fresh True. every single time Very you true. know it feels like the new new song i yeah. don't know how he has that has that magic i don't know how he puts that i just want to go into his brain and check what is happening there how yeah. how is all this coming you know indeed Yeah, and I'm you know I'm sure you know about the slow poison thing. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> you know, yeah, happens with every song for me also. Mm. First few times, yeah, and then I keep coming back to it. How many <laughs> times have you heard your own song from me? <laughs> uh, 
actually a lot of times <laughs> yeah <laughs> because you know it's a different like i've always been waiting for yeah. this one uh, moment indeed with indeed. sir's in sir's music my voice yeah. the, especially the credits you know <laughs> singer rakshita suresh music ar rahman that is the dream frame so i keep going back <laughs> for sure and do you get picky when you go back and listen to your own songs not just this I but do. in general i definitely do hmm. uh, that is why i listen to just the few lines and then i i <laughs> i'm like because after a point i get technical and you know this yeah. this phrase could have been a little yeah. better and mm. this you know there's whatever i think it happens with everybody mm. you know, like they mm. don't like to listen or you know watch their own yeah. own work yeah. yeah but i want to listen to it just because of that that credit <laughs> you know mm-hmm. that that thing because mm-hmm. it's new to me right it's exciting so Super. yeah great <laughs> Uh, Rakshita, we are coming towards the end of the podcast, and mm-hmm. it's so amazing to talk to you. And I feel like we can even yeah. go for so many other hours and just keep talking <laughs> because that's the be- that's the best part about talking about Sir is music and the magic he creates yeah. and the person Absolutely. he is. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, before I let you go, um, maybe two little things. Um, yeah. One, a message for Sir via this podcast is one. <laughs> Uh, and uh, then a dedication for him two lines of any song that you want to dedicate for sir oh wow <laughs> okay a message for sir uh, i i don't think i'll ever be able to tell this to him directly so yeah. i'll just tell like via this and Thank i'll share this to him for <laughs> yeah oh my god <laughs> don't do that I, but yeah but really thank you sir for believing in me for when i myself didn't it really it means the world to me when someone like you validates you know that that validation from yeah. someone so huge like you Correct. for an artist like me means the world and uh, i promise to keep keep uh, you know pushing myself as you always you know uh, you always do to mm-hmm. singers Uh, and uh, keep exploring and keep challenging myself uh, and just keep singing and just thank you sir for your music <laughs> amazing yeah i think that's I'm, it. i'm yeah. sure you'll rock it and for the yeah. years to come i'm sure your fans and your family your friends they're all going to be super super proud of you and i'll be very oh, proud of you. and and when you're even <laughs> more super busier and next and extremely difficult to catch hold of then i'll call you for the podcast and let me see whether you accept or not of course no no of course i will of course because i relate to you right i was also i am also a fan girl you know and that was a that was a challenging part for me when i first recorded went into sir's uh, studio to record when he only recorded me because i had to dial down the fan girl part i'm like rakshita okay you're you're in a professional thing now you have to sing for him So please dial down that crazy fan girl thing and you know yeah. be professional, sing properly, and yeah, I get that. So I would definitely be a Thank part you. of your podcast. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, two lines of any song you want to dedicate for sir. Okay, this is one of my many favorite songs of sir. So. Ninja, ninja, what do we do? Nila, nila. கடந்து விடுஞ்சே நெஞ்சே விடு நிஜங்களை கலந்து விடு கட்டி வைத்த காற்று கைகரண்டை beautiful yeah. love, it, love it love it thank you how do you remember all the lyrics just practice <laughs> no no i listen to the the songs all these songs like a thousand times you know? uh, even i have that is what i do but i still can't remember what you sang <laughs> 
Yeah. I'm usually not good with I think I I'm pretty sure I messed up a few words now here and I'm not good with remembering. I couldn't have made it out anyway, but it <laughs> sound good. Yeah, but thank you. Thank you. But amazing great. Uh look uh, is there anything that you would like to say for your fans within the I love AR community and also for the ones which are outside the community and for everyone else because i'm sure i have got heaps and heaps of messages on instagram uh about your podcast so now what's going to happen yeah. is to for starting from tomorrow i'll keep getting messages when are you releasing when are you releasing <laughs> so anything that you would like to say for your fans i think just uh, thanks you know i don't know what else to say other than um, thanking everybody who who especially i remember during my season Mm. uh i used to get so many messages and mails mm. from people all over the world saying mm. you know you one day will come where where you will definitely sing for them answer and we all wish and pray as families and as friends and you know little ones like yeah. like old uh, uh, grand parents everybody we wish that you know it happens to you because yeah. you deserve it or you you know you have it in you there's some connection that we feel and i re- read those and i always feel uh you know that that pump that you get yeah. for for an artist i don't think anything else can be sure. it can't get better correct so i after after my song got released i went back and you know went saw all those messages again saying you know how blessed we are we all are uh, as yeah. artists yeah. you know to connect with somebody you haven't even seen in real life and they just they they just connect via your music your voice mm-hmm. your si- songs and and they are happy you're making somebody else's life better mm-hmm. which is such a huge blessing right mm-hmm. so uh i'm just grateful for all the love and support uh, that i've been getting and uh yeah Sure. huge thanks to all of you nice and yeah. they they love you a lot and then so <laughs> yeah it's great. mutual the love <laughs> yeah. and okay so before i let you go let's take an e selfie um yeah. the fans within the yeah. community have told me specifically that don't let any guest go away without taking a selfie so okay okay take pictures one picture is like normal you can look at the camera and i'll take one mm. picture from here and the other one is like second one is like a make a funny face Yeah, okay done. Okay. done. Yeah. And we'll go the first one at the count of 3. 1 2 3. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. 1 2 3 yes got it. Yes and then uh, now the funny face or crazy funny ha huh. crazy whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh no, we missed it. One more. Oh sorry, uh, you didn't say 1 2 3. I'm sorry. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. So yes, I didn't say 1 2 3 right? That's right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, beautiful. I love it. Got it. Great. Uh, Akshita, it's been amazing to talk to you. And uh, so, yeah. there, I, I, uh, I think I've managed to touch on everything that I want to wanted to talk to you about. Is there anything that you would like to talk about and I have not touched on because I don't want you to walk away thinking hey, I didn't speak about this. No no absolutely you have I literally revisited my entire journey since childhood which I don't get to do a lot because it's such a like like we're all running that it's Correct. nice to pause for a moment and think about like look back and see how long you've come and you know see how long there is to go still so it's been an absolute pleasure chandra thank you so much for having me and uh, let's keep doing this as we go for sure for sure yeah. all your success yeah. stories and like there be heaps and heaps of success stories and your super super even more super busy and <laughs> thank uh, you so much thank you let it let let it be super impossible for me to reach you and let you be that busy <laughs> Lot, and uh, <laughs> just lastly have you met Shreya Goshal ji or not no no i haven't i, I think haven't you should, met her she should hear you <laughs> oh my god <laughs> let's see <laughs> i mean i don't let's know hope. super let's hope she, that she's happens. like the boss right yeah so yeah. and uh, look it's been a phenomenal experience to talk to you and i personally loved it and as a little thank you i'd like to send you a t-shirt 
and some chocolate oh. too. Uh, oh. So <laughs> really, okay. Give me your address uh, later. Sure, sure. And I will sure, send sure. you an ARR T-shirt, and then the next time you go to Panchatin, please wear that and go. I'll wear it. Yeah, <laughs> done. The entire team has a T-shirt there. I've given them uh, the entire. Ah, team. nice, nice. Nice. So when Sir sees you in that T-shirt, he'll be like, "Okay, Chandra has joined." <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. Thank you, Rakshita. Thank you so much. Have Thank a great. Thank you so much. Bye. Yeah. Bye. 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 <laughs>